Hey there, welcome back to the Quabzum Podcast. I'm Christian and I'm joined today by I'm Eric. I'm Gavin. And, and we're here to you. talk about Yep. Yeah, you like took my spotlight from me, buddy. Oh sorry, I'm sorry. You can go I'll just go over here really quick. Let me let me read the sentence. We're here to talk about new games coming out. Yes, sir. Okay, so the only new game that I know is the Battlefield game, of course, which it doesn't look bad so far. I am so hyped. I've been waiting so long for a goddamn Battlefield game. I just want to see what they have planned for their, quote, Battle Royale. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't lie. I liked, uh, what's it called? <laughs> a lot. Uh, yeah, Firestorm. Don't I liked even, it a lot. Don't even know what it was called and he still likes it. Yeah, but um, I liked it a lot. But the problem was, like, no one really played it after the first, like, two hours it was out. Exactly. That, that game... Yeah, it had its it, ups it, and downs. It, it died so fast. But, like... I don't know. I just think maybe a new Battlefield can do it better. I'm still waiting for Hardline 2. Just saying. I want to see like how the gameplay trailer is for it because I what discouraged me was the uh, what was it that like bot that came down the four legs of the freaking gun. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm hoping this is the perfect balance between modern and future. I just because hope it doesn't have special. I'm just tired of. I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? Uh, sure it has specialist yeah. like rainbow six like operatives or something like that but apparently there's a game like uh, a mode called hazard mode or whatever right mm -hmm. and i guess it's just supposed to be like an escape like tar uh, escape from tarkov or something like that and it's not like what i thought at least was zombies it's called hazard so what you're supposed to it's go in with loot and if you lose it it's like How's that? So what it says is it's like a squad-based experience, and that's all it says. It could be kind of like a co-op versus AIs or something. I don't know. That sounds weird. Unless that is the Battle Royale. No, because it says Battle Royale is not coming at launch, and this hazard mode is at launch. I don't know. And then there's no campaign, but mm. eh, it's a battlefield. It's not supposed True. to be a campaign. But there, there's some battlefield like there's some battlefield camp that had good campaigns. Hardline was okay. I think uh, every Battlefield game I've played has, has has had a good campaign, but I'm not sad to see it go because I could care less about the campaigns, to be completely honest with you. I think they're just like, oh, it's a waste of time for development when your main focus is going to be that multiplayer. Because mm -hmm. like, what does everyone talk about? Like who, who actively goes on the internet, on YouTube and stuff and says, oh, look at this Battlefield campaign. Like the no. people that do the Let's Plays. That, that's it. But that's such <laughs> a, like compared to people who do the, uh, who do, um, what's it called? yeah multiplayer and stuff like you know mm -hmm. operated just keen them we're gonna need it uh battlefield was never really known for their campaigns that much like i said i'm iffy about that new battlefield so i hope i hope it like blows me away with the gameplay that's supposed to be coming out i think it said what was it the 15th i don't know i didn't really look into it that much except for the uh tweets that they released what other new games are coming out anyway i don't really know that's a very good question dying light 2 naraka blade point i don't know what that is I know what Dying Light 2 is. That game seems uh, pretty good. New World's coming out. Oh, the Blade Point was not can we, bad. Can we talk about uh, getting New World? No. Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance is coming out, which I'm actually super hyped for. What is that? Because I've seen that and I don't know what that is. Oh. Um, It's a D&D &D game. I know that. Oh, a game. And I, I'm not too certain. I haven't watched much on it. Okay, a game that I'm actually excited for, Back for Blood, that game. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Is that the one that's made by the people who made Left 4 Dead? Yes. And they've... So basically, Steam didn't want to make a Left 4 Dead 3. So, so they... the creators of Left 4 Dead made this game called Back for Blood, which is literally just Left 4 Dead. All, that's all it is, is just Left 4 Dead with a new name. So I kind of would that like be a to start record that. To something else, honestly. It doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. It looks really good. There's a open world MMO survival coming out. It's called The Day Before Two. Sounds interesting. I know. I think it's like a zombie game too. Ooh, even more or it's quote unquote infected. Apparently, there's also a game called Scarlet Nexus coming out. One day, the game that Christian and I want the most will come out. Hopefully, I don't even know what this is. What's that? Dead Matter. Oh, uh, it's. I mean, we can get the alpha. You know, Gamma wants to come out really bad. Hmm. What's it called? Escape from Tarkov actually working? It being good. Right. They just released a. Number three teaser for Streets. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even think I'm gonna install the game for Streets. I might just watch Clean or someone play it. 
Like I, I just can't they're be asked to play. They're hopefully gonna wipe, aren't they? Before they release streets. It's not even the wiping issue. It's just their economy and movement. Yeah, but it always it depends. For the game, it depends on the wipe, honestly. Yeah, they need to add inertia, but they're too scared to do it because they're scared of it. Right? They're just too scared to make their game <clears throat> what they want it to be. Mm-hmm. And I and I know it's been said. This has been said like beyond enough times because they can't be asked to make a game that's for the people that they want to make it for, not because of what's popular right now. And this game from Tarkov is dying in popularity. I can already tell you that right now. They yeah. just need to make the game how they want to make it. It's their game. I get it. They want their community to have some say and stuff, but... Nah. Like, they just had a Twitch sure, Rivals yeah. tournament or something. Yeah. Apparently, that's what they want. Like, they just had a Twitch tournament or whatever. Mm-hmm. Only saw one thing for it. Like, usually, Twitter is plastered with it, and it's everywhere. But it was only one thing this time. For, like, one of their most popular things to do. Like, that does show something. No, I never really got into Escape from Tarkov, really. I have too many hours. Yeah, I know. I have too many, and I would like to put more. Just, I need a wipe, because there's no point of starting now. I just can't get into the game. I don't know why. I think my favorite thing about it is just getting spicy kills on people. Like, sometimes one-tapping them in the skull. Or just destroying, like, a squad of five. Shooting somebody in that is great. It just feels Tarkov's, satisfying to... Tarkov's gunplay is... It's, it's also pretty good gunplay, but the inertia needs to be added, like... Their movement is what's bad, and the inertia... And, and I don't the understand how you could go from standing still with a super big bag and super heavy gun and instantly be turned right behind you perfectly, like, in a matter of a millisecond. <laughs> yeah, literally. Or go from running to complete stop in, like, point one second. There's just a ton wrong with the game, and they really need to fix it. Mm-hmm. Because I used to love Tarkov, but it, just, it was just so repetitive and old. Got really old quickly. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever play Escape from Tarkov, really, anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I played, like, two hours, and I just, I, I can't get into that. It's a very specific kind of game. That's why it's so hard to, like, make good. But they have the tools to do it. They just refuse to. Yeah, they should just go for it. Not, or even, like, test it. I feel like they should make a testing branch for Tarkov. They should and test out these changes, but yet they don't want well, to. I'm more or less talking about for, like, people in the community to go and test. Like, how other games have a testing side or whatever. They'll have, like, the main game and then a testing test servers, whatever you want to call it. Now, should we talk about some of the other games that we have planned, too? Sure. I don't know if one yeah. of you guys want to, like, just pick one off of our, like, list. And we can talk about well i know one we all agree on is uh bringing back the no man's sky series or starting one i don't remember if we started one no we didn't i think we just i think we just spam played it i just don't know how are we gonna actually do that yeah um i don't know we can figure it out i mean we could start from where we are and do a series of uh getting to the center you know you could galactic center whatever it's called core i think galactic core is center it is. of the universe or whatever yeah i want to play is. some hardcore games like you die or gg mm. and i know i might I don't know record on my i don't know i want to find some games where i could record and do that i'm down to do some like harder type difficult games i know for the terraria thing that we're doing is on expert and we died like a million times for the first episode <laughs> let's so, go yeah all you're gonna hear is let's the baby go. say let's go because i forgot to uninstall that mod but you know it adds to it so i have a question about some of the uh, you know one of the games that i see on this list what's that what is streets of rogue i do not know. oh it's a it's like a so it's like kind of a not top down but it's a bird's eye view like 8-bit kind of game it's mm-hmm. kind of weird but it's really it's like an arcade kind of retro game and like you go around doing quests and stuff and unlocking other characters and like you're going through the streets of like towns and stuff and like you know sewers eventually it's super fun I played it with a uh, Jared a long time ago. Sounds interesting. It's really weird. It's it's a really fun game though, uh, and okay. it's um it's on Game Pass too. So. Another game is that Deep Rock Galactic game, which I've actually played quite a bit of, and it's not bad. It's a four player co op game, and basically you just go on to like meteors and you're mining with a robot, and then there's like these bugs and creatures that attack you. So that game is definitely pretty uh pretty interesting to play. I see a fun party game where we could get funny moments on though in that in that list game that i play very often and that is wreckfest i've had some fun accidents with some of my friends i've played with yeah we can uh give that a shot too don't be surprised if i uh accidentally hit you and you go doing a barrel roll down the track all right Uh, that's fine i'll just (laughs) ram into you full speed (laughs) i'll just go the opposite direction so many people do that (laughs) especially in online races another game that i kind of want to record 
what would take like a while is Sea of Thieves. I guess the only way we would really be able to record that is like we would record what quests we're doing and get rid of, you know, how long it takes us to get that quest point, you know what I mean? And then we, you know. Well, we could also just do like sea battles and record those. We'd have to get better at that. Or, I mean, we could well, start trying that. We could try the arena. Yeah, we could just do that. Still cause... waiting for Project Zomboid multiplayer. You're right. It's never coming. So I put Knockout City on here, which that game's not bad. But it's it, it gets it's, a little. It was fun stale. for the first hour. It just got stale. Yeah, so they need to add something more to it before you do any of that. And then, Christian, you put Fallout New Vegas. Actually, yeah, if I watch a video on a mod that's coming out and it's in beta right now, and it should be done really soon, where you can play online, and it makes it it makes New Vegas kind of like a MMO ish type, and like creatures are leveled. Um, you spawn in with a random starter weapon and a starter armor. And you could just walk around with your friends and um, no, just do your quests, play the game. See, it's funny that you mentioned like the um mods though, because we could what we could do right is for like games like Fallout and say Skyrim could do like mod reviews maybe. Actually, yeah, there is. I I do want to do mod reviews for um Fallout and Skyrim. I actually do want to do that. Yeah, so we can uh we can do that because there's a lot of like mods that people don't even know about. Yeah, um, I already uh, what's it called? I started playing fallout 76 again in that games oh, i don't know it just runs better and it feels better than four i don't know why i i, I don't know that game was terrible at launch yeah i mean but People, like it, literally it's not as big was i got a bounty for one cap and these level like 200s came after me for one cap bounty it's it was so and they killed dumb. me when i had no bounty yeah, it's just, I don't know. I heard it's gotten better with, like, all the NPCs and stuff, but it's a game that I just don't even want to get into because it got ruined. Yeah, it just feels bad. I've been, I've been enjoying it, and it's not on the same level as No Man's Sky, but it had the same effect as No Man's Sky. It did come back from where it was because oh, no I remember Man's Sky playing was it. terrible when it first came out. Oh, my God. And, and now it's actually Let good. me tell you the story. I know I, the story. I was there yeah. for it. <laughs> oh, I'm telling it now for the podcast because... I uh I have only pre-ordered one game before in my life, and I was 16 at the time I got No Man's Sky. So the first game I ever pre-ordered was um the handsome or what was it, Borderlands the pre-sequel? Yeah. Oh, great game. Yep, I pre-ordered that. That was the first game I've ever pre-ordered. And um, so I saw No Man's Sky, I was like, oh, this sounds awesome. Gonna be one of the best games ever made. And usually you can predict something. Like you could um you could predict when a game's gonna be mediocre or one of the best games on the planet. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's that level looking good, like Cyberpunk. Me and my friend said it's either going to be super mediocre or it's going to be, like, the best game we've ever played in our entire life. It was mediocre. Cyberpunk is mediocre. And they're slowly turning it around. Yeah, it's it's becoming better. I I enjoy playing it. I, I'm still trying to beat it. But, um, so I pre-ordered No Man's Sky and I got it for PS4. Littered it up. Oh, my God. It was just such a bad experience. I was so disappointed. No. I was gutted. The thing that I remember is we were at Gavin's house. <laughs> you brought your computer down. You loaded it up on your computer. You played it for an hour, and then you just shut it off because it was so bad. I literally, I went, like, me and Gavin were hanging out, and I brought, he wanted to try No Man's Sky, so I brought it, and I, we played, I played it for, like, it half, for we played it for, like, half an hour, and we're just like, this sucks. Mm. Dude, this is boring. And like, this, is a, this is after, every, like, a month of buying it, too. Everything they promised was such a lie because they said there was multiplayer, but there wasn't and now there actually is i just lied a lot to get money but i guess it kind of worked out in the end because they got funding to make that like their updates how they make them now it's mm -hmm. super good yeah right now it is really really good it's like i don't want to i don't want to toot the horn here because i'm not too familiar with space explosion games but i do want i do think no man's sky is probably one of the better ones yeah, i think so yeah i don't know i don't, I don't really know any other like games star citizen like... is a big one and i want to get into that so bad now, I don't mean to, like, brag, but in No Man's Sky, I am a rich, rich person. Oh, only because have... we watched a video. <laughs> no, I made a mine, and I have 600 million, what is it, units or credits? This guy. Units. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite rich. Yeah, yeah. And now that well, I say credits, right? Mm -hmm. That's the currency for Star Wars, and I would love a No Man's Sky, like, Star, Star Wars, Wars M like M no not crossover. no not oh, like but like a Star a Wars MMO RPG right so, so kind of something that's like Knights of the Republic that they have right now but that. updated but but better <laughs> yeah like I could go to different planets as a bounty hunter and I could kill someone for like a thousand credits and just be like all right 
Time to go to that Coruscant. Would cool. That would be cool. It would be. Just like pick your own path. No, it really just you makes me mad. Space. What's that? You know, I hate the fact that the new Battlefront 2 didn't have the Galactic Conquest. Yes. That's the best mode in any space, what? any like old game I've Wait, played. Literally, Are Battlefront sure? 1 and 2. Yeah. No, okay, so in Battlefront 1 and 2, like the classic ones, they had Galactic Conquest, which was you and you could have like a friend and you could either be on the same side or two different sides and you're fighting for planets and it would like literally take hours to beat because you would go to a planet you would fight yeah, for fun. it and then say i won the planet and i was like the republic it would be blue and you then like my buy people oh so yeah, and then good, your man. friend could like attack that planet to gain control of that planet and your goal was to either capture all of the planets or i forget what the other mode was like the other victory but yeah, you could you buy like Jedi's all, and all that. the reinforcements or something that's how you won the planets but to win the game i think you just had to capture all the planets yes yeah, because they can as long as they had a planet they can build a big ship mm -hmm. and then as long as and, you had all the planets they can't build so you oh won. yeah and if you met your ships into deep orbit it would be a dogfight in the space so it i wish they had that in the so Battlefronts. basically it was literally you release Galactic another game Conquest. with squad with squadrons and battlefront 2 just mixed together <laughs> no they for battlefront 3 if they ever make it they need galactic conquest like they need it it was the best mode to play if i don't get galactic conquest in battlefront 3 or i can make my own jedi slash sith i'm not playing it i'm probably still gonna play it because i like star wars but <laughs> <laughs> A game that I just put down was Borderlands 3 because we were talk we talked about you pre-ordering Borderlands the free sequel and Borderlands 3 was a really great game. I have yet to play it much. I've only played it like 15 minutes. Oh, I because I didn't I didn't like playing it on like 20 FPS on the Xbox. I didn't really play much of it to like beat it just because I thought I was gonna beat the story with one of my friends and he ended up just grinding and sweating at the game you know yeah and left See, me behind so i just gave up that's why if we decide to do it we can like i can make a new character because i already have like three of them now but i can pick a character that i haven't already because i used to play a zane for his drones and all that but i can tell you the uh, game is really good there's so many like i don't know just borderlands so many funny moments and then the dlcs are pretty good too actually the dlc one of the dlcs are like halloween themed and it was oh it's weird. It's like guns, love, and tentacles, or something like that, or something. <laughs> it's so weird, but it was isn't so that good. One, isn't that the one where like the town's on like a giant like squid like or that? whatever? Yeah, <laughs> and they thought it was like dead, but it comes to life at the end. It's weird. Yeah, not a not a bad game that like idea. And then I forgot what so... I was gonna say for a game. Oh, you but just it's in put, the list. You just put Battlefront Two Classic, so I'm down. Yeah, because I now want to play Galactic Conquest. Yeah, actually, we can do that on Steam, can't we? I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. Uh, there's no online servers, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, well, nope. actually, no. We can use the co-op Steam Play thing that they have. Yeah, we can do that. Play Easy. Screen. Yeah. So, what game are we talking about? Uh, I can't remember. I was just about to mention a game. You know, since this could be a good segue, uh, Super Animal Royale. True. That game apparently came out two years ago. Well, it came out in 2018. Just surprising that we're just now playing it. <clears throat> uh, it's because when it came out, they were charging people money. Oh. And since it became free, it's now on like every console. So people actually got to play it and see what it was without paying for it. And it's not a it's not a bad game. It's just a top down battle royale game of animals brutally murdering each other and it is great it is very fun yeah, speaking of this probably. game you know yeah. i guess we might as well talk about what could be coming to the channel for video sake yeah ne next week is probably going to be the upload of that and then sometimes so, this week terraria so we got videos coming oh yeah so hope you guys don't hear more let's go let's go uh Coming no now. i actually want to do the mod uh review so bad now uh mark it down we can do it oh yeah. mod reviews does something we can even actually do minecraft mods too not a bad idea that's one thing i was thinking i didn't and know if anyone would have done it though we got a minecraft server Inch. coming yeah. wink, wink. so far we're just testing it and so far i have a baby dragon so i really don't care so do i i love my dragon i have a house <laughs> i have a cave and a blood altar christian killed a bertha so that's all that matters big bertha that was hard that was insane what am i looking at doing i think my next update it's either for the mod pack it's either going to be working on the skill system or i'm going to be it's either skills are coming uh some sort of shop system for players 
mm -hmm. or I'm gonna be making voice chat. All those are great ideas. Plus, we have a currency already in the game that you get for just killing yeah, the mobs. Yeah, the currency. That. Actually, I'll be able to maybe work it in. So maybe, like, say you pick a monster hunter class or something, you, you get more, more money. Okay. So I have a question. I have an so answer. For the Minecraft server, say when it goes, you know, whatever it's gonna be, public, public. Wait, whatever. Uh, is there gonna be like a hub? You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, I was um gonna mention that. I'm gonna start looking at building a hub too. I might preload a world, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it'll just be a flat world, like a flatland. Like that. Yeah. And then just build a hub so then when we start it i could have the multi-dimensions and then we just upload the hub onto the world hey man i'm just saying uh i could i could build a hub and use world painter to make the world exactly we could just use world painter make the world make the hub this is a uh, lot of opener. ideas coming and you know uh it'll probably be opened up soon through our twitter maybe for like testing and stuff when we get it better more optimized mm-hmm well, not optimize, but balance at least. Yeah, because we're gonna need testers just to point out problems with mods. I want to get it hosted on a actual host because, like, it host I'm hosting it off my PC right now, and it's all right, but it's just like it's my PC is dying. Yeah, my yeah. PC is not handling it well. And then for other games, I also put Valheim, which we've all played, and we've and had, it has been updated. We we've literally have a hundred hours in it. It's a so it, it's basically just a Viking survival crafting game. All it is, you go around, you're a Viking, you're killing monsters. Great game, great experience. And I just love building. Yeah, the building was fun. I liked going on the sea adventures. That was fun. Those weird kraken, that, kraken, the that sea serpents. That always me out just because so, I'm not a big fan of not being able to see the bottom. You know what I mean? So I thought it was bad, right? But those sea serpents are actually extremely easy to kill. But uh, what I was thinking about for that series was to make all new characters in a new world and just try to defeat every boss since it has been really really updated since we've last played it which was like when it first came out and then uh what other games oh i put rating free to play games on steam uh just to see like what kind of online co-op games they had that were actually free and to see which ones are decent you know we should just do like uh i have a weird series of mine maybe doing like a free mmo or like mmos with trials from like one to five and see how they are mm -hmm. for like co-op play and playing with friends and stuff Dude, mm -hmm. that means we can play Star Wars. Because that's a free MMO. But you guys would have Star to join Wars? the Sith. Oh, yeah. You want to know what's funny? I have a Sith character that's like level 2. I'm pretty sure I'm level like 11 now. But I haven't played in a while. I'm pretty sure I have like 10 hours in the game already. I, I don't know why. I was just about to ask you what you were when you already said you were a Sith. Yeah, I'm a bounty hunter. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was trying to go for... I don't remember what I was actually trying to go for. No, I think that... I don't know. But yeah, that'd be something. Too. It'd be fun. That wouldn't be bad. It'd be interesting. But uh, I think that's uh, I think that's what we had for the agenda today to talk about. Wasn't much besides just talking about plans, new games, and uh, the server we have coming. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, maybe some more new game news will come out and we have more stuff to talk about for that. Yeah, maybe something will happen. We'll run into, a, we'll run into someone at Walmart like... <laughs> I don't just know. Pick him up on the street. <laughs> we'll just pick up a homeless man on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great idea. We're in the bread at Walmart. <laughs> we will see you guys uh, next Friday for another uh, podcast episode. Might have a special guest. Don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. But yeah. we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, peace out, boys. Later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.